So the first thing we're going to do is find where 80 degrees is on each histogram. So it's right here. So we need to figure out what percent of days were less than 80 degrees. There's 50 days total and we have a frequency axis right here. So we need to add up this bar, this bar, and this bar. So this one right here lines up with, looks like one. This one here lines right up with the 10. And this looks like one unit above that 10, so 11. So 44% of the days in Kahului had mean temperatures of less than 80 degrees. Now we're going to do the same thing for Los Angeles. Here's 80 degrees. So we can add up the frequencies of all these bars below 80 degrees, but we also know there's a total of 50 days. So we could just look at how many days exceeded 80 degrees and subtract that out of 50. So it looks like we have a two, one, and another one. So a total of four of the 50 days were greater than 80 degrees. That leaves 46 to be less than 80 degrees. This is a common trick in statistics. Always look, is it easier to count the complement and subtract it away from one than to count it directly? So 92% of the days in this time period had mean temperatures of less than 80 degrees in Los Angeles. Anytime you're describing a distribution, you want to talk about shape, outliers, center, and spread. The acronym SOX can help you remember this. So we want to describe, but we also want to compare. So let's start with the shape. So we can say the Kahului mean temperature distribution is unimodal with a slight skew left. You can see that it's peaks right here and it tapers off to the left. So it's skewed left. While the Los Angeles mean temperature distribution is roughly bimodal and slightly skewed right. Bimodal means there's kind of two humps in the data. Maybe one right there and one right there. But it's also skewing off to the right. Now so far all we've done is describe the two distributions independently. We're also asked to compare. So really the only comparison we can make is that the distributions are different in shape. Now that we've talked about shape, let's tackle center next. The median is what divides the lower and upper halves of the distribution. So since each of these represent 50 days, if we can figure out where the 25th and 26th day are, we could figure out where the median is. In the Kahului data, we're at 22 by the time we get to here, so the 25th and 6th observation are in here. So the median is somewhere between 80 and 82 degrees for Kahului. For Los Angeles, it looks like we have 1, then 6, 8, 10, so we're at 18, uh, 24, 25. Oh, actually, it looks like the first 25 observations are here, so the second 25 are over here. So the median must be at exactly 70 degrees. So we'll say the Kahului median is between 80 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, while the Los Angeles median is less, at 70 degrees. Now, by saying the word less, we actually put our comparison right into our description. So we're good with center. For spread, we're going to talk about the range. We'll say the range of Kahului mean temperatures was about 10 degrees Fahrenheit, while Los Angeles had a greater range of about 26 degrees Fahrenheit. To get the range, you take the maximum value and subtract out the minimum value. So for Kahului, it looks like our maximum mean temperature was 84 degrees. Or maybe it was 83 degrees. We can't really tell from this histogram. That's why we have to use the word about. But let's say it's 84 and the minimum was 74. That would give it a range of 10 because 84 minus 74 is 10. For Los Angeles, it looks like it could be as high as 88 degrees and as low as 62 degrees. So perhaps 26 degrees. We also use the word greater. So again, we put our comparison into our description. Finally, neither distribution appears to have any strong outliers. This is one of several videos I have on describing distributions of univariate data. Check out this playlist for more.